Welcome to the International Tennis Hall of Fame here in Newport, Rhode Island. On these hallowed grounds, today we will honor two special individuals who exemplify the greatest traditions of our sport. Integrity, perseverance, passion, athleticism, and sportsmanship. As a special tribute to both Andre and Peachy, and as a bit of a surprise, I'd like to welcome the vocal star of the Andre Agassi College Preparatory Academy Choir, Mr. A.J. Green, a recent honors graduate. Beachy has been the driving force behind the development of women's tennis. Fern Lee Peachy Kelmeyer. To introduce her today, we welcome Ms. Stacy Allister, the chairman and CEO of the Women's Tennis Association. Please welcome Stacy. What a great pleasure for me to stand here today and introduce my friend and mentor, Peachy Kelmeyer. She has been the glue of women's tennis holding the WTA together as CEOs and players have come and gone, a constant force for 38 years. I don't really stand up here alone. I feel I represent a generation of women who have done their best in this sport and worked hard, and we have a common bond and a common purpose to give back each and every day so that this sport will be better tomorrow than it is today. For me, my life is very simple. I love my family, my friends, and I love women's tennis. Thank you. We are honored today to have with us three-time Grammy Award winner, Mr. Keb Moe, to perform America the Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Keb Moe. Thank you. Oh. To introduce Andre today, we are very pleased to have with us, who is kind of emblematic of the Andre Agassi College Preparatory Academy, the valedictorian of the first class, graduating class in 2009, a student at Con Concordia University. Please welcome. Ms. Simone Ruffin. <laughs> How great is this? <laughs> you are not only an amazing athlete, but you're an amazing person who I will always hold up as an example. From the students of Las Vegas, all the people whose lives you've changed, and from the generations after us, we love you, and we will continue to honor your legacy. <laughs> Dad, when I was five, you told me to win Wimbledon. When I was seven, you told me to win all the four Grand Slams. And more times than I can remember, you told me to get into the Hall of Fame. And when I was 29, I don't know if you remember this, you told me to marry Steffi Graf. <laughs> Best order you ever gave me. So dad, please don't ever stop telling me what to do. I fell in love with tennis far too late in my life, but the reason that I have everything that I hold dear is because of how much tennis has loved me back. So thank you, tennis, for my life. Thank you, tennis, for my wife. And thank you, tennis, for enabling me to find my life's work. Tennis gave me all my personal teachers that I owe a debt I can never repay. They lifted me up and carried me across 
many finish lines, sometimes literally. My dad, Mike, and my mom, Betty. My big brother, Phil. My friend, protector, and trainer, Gil Reyes. My coaches, Nick Boliteri, Theron Cahill, Brad Gilbert, youth. and the person who means more to me than words can express, the woman who still takes my breath away every day, Stephanie Graff. Today, standing here, receiving this honor, I am living proof that no dream, no journey is impossible. Thank you.